Welcome to Comet TV. Today, we're going to look at different formatting options. More specific, I'll show you how conditional formatting and formulative formatting works. In order to do so, we're using the project item label with picture from our sample application. Now, let's have a look at the formatting options based on the item price shown on the label. When we go to the properties dialog of our item price, we'll see the conditional formatting selection right there. This is where we have the option to determine the formatting. So for example, let's say if the value is above 1000, I want to use the font color red. Accordingly, we create a second option. If the value is less than or equal to 1000, I want the program to use the font color blue. Now click OK in order to save these properties and have a look at the results in the preview. All prices above 1000 are red and all prices equal to or under 1000 are blue. In order to make things a bit easier, this whole process can also be managed by using a formula. Let's go to the formatting dialog and take out the conditional formatting. Then we choose color to get back into our formula and adapt the conditions according to our preferences. Right there, we are doing the exact same thing as before. If our item unit price is equal or less than 1000, I want the font color to be blue. If it's over 1000, I want the price to show up in red. Let's have a look at the preview now. Which option you prefer is totally up to you. As a conclusion, we can tell that the first option is a very convenient solution for every user, mainly thanks to a very simple formatting dialog. However, if your label print requires more complex conditions, we strongly recommend to take advantage of the formula formatting options. Thank you for listening.